What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into So Real Tea. Um, Armand BMSC and Lotto responds, Maya Blast Amar after, which that's probably the rest of that. So uh, let me see. Oh, she got a couple different things. All right, we'll probably make this an eight minute right quick. What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. It was reported that yesterday, Crystal Baby Father Polo G was arrested on weapon charges after Maid allegedly found loaded guns <laughs> inside his Manhattan hotel room. Reporters stated that after the police arrived at the hotel with a search warrant, they discovered a black glove on a love seat in Polo G's room and the no. firearm was loaded with a bullet in the chamber mm. and nine additional bullets. They did arrest him and he was released on a $25,000 bail. Mm -hmm. And he, he is scheduled to return to court on June 4th. So I just hope that they're able to work all of this stuff out. Is he a felon? Or maybe it's illegal in Miami to have a gun fully loaded and one in a chamber. But is it also illegal to have a black glove? I'm not sure if he has his license to carry, but then, what I will uh, right, say that one too. is in New York State, New York is the only state. Oh, I completely missed New York. I missed it. I don't know what made me think Miami. Let me read. Polo G faced gun charges on Wednesday after a maid allegedly discovered a gun while cleaning his hotel room. Leading to his arrest, because that was my next question. After responding to a call at the Dominic Hotel in New York City, he had a gun in New York. No. It is completely and utterly illegal to have a firearm in New York not only for the firearm in general but a fully loaded one now I see why the glove would even be included oh no I don't even think it would matter if he has the license to carry because it doesn't matter in New York if you are licensed to carry you're not supposed to have one in general, I believe, unless you're security. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if security can have a gun in New York. But come on, um, lady. That's crazy. But I ain't going to lie. He should have had it in the safe. God damn. Firearm was loaded with a bullet in the chamber and nine additional bullets in the magazine. As reported by New York Post, on Thursday, the 25-year-old rapper attended his arraignment at Manhattan Criminal Court where he was issued a $25,000 bail. Um, Polo G has been released from custody after posting bail and is scheduled to return to court on June 4th. How? Oh, waste of time. State that does not accept a license to carry from any other state. Right. Like you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Let's get into Armand's baby. He's mom, just about Essie. to have to pay a whole lot of money. Yesterday, Essie went live on TikTok and she gave a little backstory on why she moved to Houston and did not want to stay in California anymore. She stated that it was very unsafe and she just wanted a better place to raise her daughter where she can have fun and her daughter create friends and create memories and Houston was a safe place. She did state that she did plan to move to LA but things changed and she is happy where she is. A few of the supporters also asked her about her having another baby. And she stated that for right now, she's okay with her one. And if she doesn't get any more, she is satisfied. But you guys comment down below and let us know what you think. Um, I've actually lived in Houston before, so it's very normal to me. Um, but this time I live alone, so it's like very... Um, it's very different living alone. I stayed there, like that's just what it was. I'm sorry, you're gonna the area is also really ghetto. Exactly why I don't want to be there. Oh, thank you for the heart. Exactly. Windows do not need to be tinted. You can literally leave the windows down. 
you know, have a sign, I ain't got nothing in here, and your windows will be busted. Mm. I mean, yeah, I like you think you're having a jolly day, you know me, I'm a kid. So it's like that in Atlanta. Wait, did I speed that up? I'm thinking I'm having a jolly little day with my kid. Mom, and girl, I come back, my windows are busted. No, Mom. that's crazy. With a you child, like this? that's yeah. just top okay. tier crazy. Without a child, that's the crazy. Just wasn't, <laughs> that's not the safe The baby was never supposed to be permanent. I'm being real. I really was thinking and literally almost signed into a place for LA, but I don't know. That's always an option for me. Because I actually really enjoy LA. That is true, royalty. There's good and bad parts everywhere. But I don't know. I just didn't want to stay there. Like, that's just what it was. When you have your mind, well, when I have my mind set to something, that's what I'm sticking to. Girl, Sorry. LA is expensive. I still was about to sign the lease on, some, on a place, though. Um, but it was so small. It was literally, like, the smallest thing ever. And, like, you really got to pay some money for, for a even a space. washer and dryer like it's insane like why don't places have washer and dryers for sure like that just that's insane mm. do you want to also do like no i want too. you to wait for me over there so i can do your hair uh, it's her cutting her off from talking somebody's about to get dropped Bad off because ain't no way you why because i want some alone time can we go to the park first yeah we are going to go to the park first Kalahari was so fun. I hella recommend Kalahari. Like, if for you're looking me, to take... For me, for me too. I have to take the picture camera and he teach me how to do school. And that's, huh? that's cool with me. That's okay with me. Five, six, seven. Legacy, go over there because you don't got no clothes on. Raven, if I find a great husband, if a great find, if a great husband finds me, Hello. then yes, maybe potentially we can talk about kids, but that's going to have to be like, that's going to have to be like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I can't tell the future. I don't know. I ain't going to lie. I'm getting your clothes, so go away. After having one, I will be cool. Because <laughs> I know y'all go through a lot. Some of y'all is cool breeze to drop them children. Just drop them. Done. Life is great. You got your baby. You doing your thing, cool, but some just keep having them. And mm. <laughs> Wait for me over there. Let me ask y'all a question to the ones that keep having children or has, you know, like multiple children. What made you want to do that again? What made you want to experience that crazy experience again? God's plan, exactly. I'm Why also some of y'all be like, bitch, I dropped. I ain't had no problems. I ain't even had no contractions. Like, lucky you. <laughs> I, I'm not. I can't handle a period cramp. A period cramp. I'll be about to die. Okay, so. Mm. Press to find nobody either. Like, I know I'm going to find. I always talk about this. But you guys comment down below and let us know what you think. Let's get into Lotto. Yesterday, I reported that Amon's friend, Lotto, was arrested. He has been released out on bail. Lotto did take to Instagram and he stated that he has an open case and he's not able to speak about all the details. But he did state that he's innocent and they're lying on him. So, yeah, funny in these comments is all the misunderstanding. The news will always misconstrue information they don't want to see black men with money i don't scam uh believe what you want but once it's dismissed in court i want all y'all to come back to the same video and say low was telling the truth anyway we back balling period well, he did comment <laughs> that on my youtube channels as well he did state that it was all in misunderstanding with the news and they will always misconstrue stuff when it comes to these young black men actually having money and doing things the right way they try to paint a picture and say that they're scamming or they're doing something illegal but you guys go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you think hey man yeah i'm cool on the earring <laughs> all right dropped their video on amar's channel where they spoke about all of the assumptions and everything surrounding their relationship since then amar dropped another video on youtube where he stated he had a late night tattoo session with <laughs> why are bullets just sitting in the video <laughs> women don't give a damn they act like they don't see the shit Instantly. Oh, oh. 
dropped another video. I think he on probation. He ain't even on the beer around. Oh, God. But on YouTube, where he stated well, you he had a late shit? night tattoo session with Maya. In the comments, Amar left a comment letting them know that this will be the last video with Maya and they will not be getting back together. Well, it has caught a lot of supporters on surprise. Not only that, Maya herself was caught by surprise. She didn't even know he left that comment because oh. she was with him that day. Well, guys, Maya took to Instagram Live last night and this is what she so had to that say. Was the she comment. definitely seems hurt and- I, I didn't know what the damn comment was. The fact that you laughed in her face when explaining how you cheated again is crazy and basically the entirety of y'all relationship. You're a grown man. You have to con you have to have control and know when to be serious. This was a this was one due to the matter at hand. It's not it's not a laughing matter, especially if it hurts your partner, <clears throat> makes them feel uncomfortable, or it's blatant disrespect. People make mistakes, yes, but how could you honestly be trying to build with someone and secretly entertaining the next person the whole time while putting up a front that you're the best, sweetest, most thoughtful, kind, and considering person? That was his choice, and it's appalling. Tat her name, love bomb her. He clearly goes for younger women so he can control them. How old is he? Show them in the aspect. Shake my head. He comes from a two-parent household, and so does she. He knows better. I said she could fix her attitude. Yes, however, she is still young, and I can tell how she really loves him. Yo, that that young shit ain't got nothing to do with the attitude. Like, kill the attitude, or I'm going to kill this relationship. I can't. I mentally cannot deal with the attitude. I can't. I, it, I can't. I can't deal with it. So get that shit together. Um... He knows better. I said she could fix the attitude. He's again loves him. Shake my head. I don't believe in giving up on your relationship, but he used her youth and innocence, love bombed her, and how you tat her name. Um, show her off daily. Move in for her or move child. Cool with the family and still find time to cheat. Shake my head. I knew his temper and insecurities. Steam. I'm hurt something. for her because all you did was laugh the whole time just to turn around and he say did laugh you're not going to get back with lie. the girl. If I was hurt, you know what? <laughs> Anyways, you know what? Like I said, you know, Maya went live, guys. She said how she felt and I definitely, I'm a, I'm a young lady. I know how it goes and I feel her. You know what I mean? It's times where you think you're in love and you're doing the right thing by choosing the person and trusting your partner and trusting that they're going to do this, doing this the right shit thing right by here. choosing the person and that gets you women every fucking time. Trusting look, your look partner, at her face. Trusting she just you're in love well, and you're doing that. the right thing by choosing the person and when that man grab or whoever grab y'all from the bed neck and get right in this this space and get to talking that shit. Everything changes for y'all. Your whole life has just been taken away from your body. All the thoughts that you had that was bad went away because he grabbed your ass, cuffed right here in your, in your earphone place, <laughs> in your air pod area, and you just forgot everything else. That sucks. That sucks for women. And trusting your partner and trusting that they're going to do better and do <laughs> right by you. Out, Nick, and in reality, <laughs> the exact way that they were doing you before is exactly how they felt. Remember oh that guy. Someone God, always told shit me, out of face. when someone <laughs> shows you their true colors, leave that shit. Because if you keep letting them show you that true color, you're going to be hurt in the long run. The yeah. live was pretty long, but she did detail what happened, what happened when she cheated on Omar and how she... I, I thought I was tripping. He when he originally broke up with her, she cheated on him. Now he cheating back. Ah. Feels and what she will be doing going forward. So make sure you guys watch the full live. Comment down below and let us know what you think. Thank you guys so much for supporting and always watching. Leave your comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and have a blessed day. I All right, y'all. I'm not gonna watch this live because I just attempted to on voices video. Tea Rooms video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I told y'all I was going to bring y'all these T-Page videos. Um, I haven't asked any other T... Well, it ain't another T-Page. Yeah, I'm cool with these three. So, I'll probably get y'all three, four videos a day on what's going on with the T. Say my opinion. Get the hell off. Um, that was another thing I was supposed to 
it's okay. I addressed it in the beginning. But um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.